Hello and welcome. I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Najdi Jihad. So we're still rivaled with Russia and the Ottomans. We can pick another rival. We can pick Ming this time. Or who knows how long. They have 95% less of our army. Whatever that... I mean, I, I don't think it's going to last, really, is what I'm saying. They, uh, they're they not in a coalition. They're allied with Korea and Pegu. We can issue an embargo as soon as we get a guy back. We do have a couple years. Oh no, is it the, is it the good guy? It's the really good guy. Well, he, he certainly served his purpose. Holy crap. He was an amazing leader. Now, we could wait. There's a chance. No, that's a ways off. we got to get a new guy now. We'll take the military guy now. Um, well, no, we won't. We don't need him. We don't need him yet. Granted, our um, army tradition is going to start to decay, so now is the, just the best time to do it, but... We're going to stay at war pretty soon, and um, I don't know. I want to get the war college started, so we can get that extra leaders without leader without upkeep. And then after that, it won't be too long until we get this land leader shock. Cost of reducing war exhaustion, we're never going to probably do that, but... Then what policies do we get with aristocrats? Aristocratic ideas. With humanists, we can get production efficiency... With the religious, we have more missionary strength, re more reduced revolt risk. That's pretty good. Military power for reduced revolt risk? Awesome. Trade power abroad. Stupid. Boats are almost done. So we're just going to let our, our war exhaustion tick down for two more months. I think I already have my claims... Claim or claims? One claim on Orissa. We are improving relations with... Algiers and with Morocco. That's important. We can fabricate a claim, though. I mean, we have a new border somewhere. jean -Pur. Oh, right. I needed my diplomat to issue the embargo on Ming. Okay. Did we just instantly lose a battle there? What the hell was that all about? Okay. Um... This guy will be sufficient for now. I mean, he, he lost a pretty pivotal battle, but... Nah, I, wouldn't, I guess that's an exaggeration. I wouldn't say it's a pivotal, but... Pivotal. Blah. Pivotal. Battle. That's not true at all. So you are easy to conquer because you have the wrong religion. And you... We have no truce with you, and we want to feed stuff back to Malwa. We also need to improve relations with Malwa. Let's start improving relations, or uh, sorry, fabricating another claim on Orissa. Our war exhaustion's gone. Conversions are almost done. Without a leader, that fight might go sour. Nope. Looks like it's okay. Still, we're gonna combine. Merge, split. Get these other two conversions started. And start coring whatever we can core. Revolt risk should be pretty low overall. I wish we could reach more of this crap. Okay, as soon as one of these guys gets topped off on opinion, or even before then, we don't have to max it out. Bring you back now. We can get ready to declare war on Orissa. I think we need a few more troops here. Let's bring all you guys over too. How about 60,000? Should be plenty. Income is not the best right now. So 
Let's gather up these 30 new ships. Take a look at trade. So, for trade, we are transferring trade power in Indus. Is fine. It goes to here. We then steer it this way, where we collect without a merchant. So just by having a merchant here, we can make an extra four ducats a month. We also have 43% um, control here. Tibet is actually sending most of it towards us, which is fine. It'd actually be better if it went this way, because it gets boosted every time it leaves. We increase the outgoing value by 8%, so if it went this way first, it'd be an extra 8% bump in overall trade value. We are collecting from trade here because we have to, otherwise we let trade escape out that way. That's the same justification that I'm using for collecting from trade here. Is that if we don't, we let money escape to the, to the Westerners. And we are collecting from trade here for the same reason. If we don't, it just goes to Constantinople. We don't have enough control at all in Constantinople to consider doing anything else. So the nodes, though, that we need more trade power in... Collect, I mean, this would be a bad node to send our ships because the trade power modifier... Collecting from trade, not in capital, would af be af would affect the trade power we apply from ships. It, it effectively makes our ships half as good. On the other hand, we could just... There's, there's plenty of extra wealth still in these nodes. But in order to actually send a ship here, I have to have at least have one province, which I think I do now. We should be able to send ships. Okay, let's do this. We're going to gather all of our boats. All of them. Just get them all. Except for you guys. Let's reanalyze just a second. So 85% without any ships in the capital. Why do we... Who's stealing my damn trade power? It's the damn Ottomans. Transfers from traders downstream. Bastard. So there's pretty much all of our boats. 85% though. We lose six ducats if we don't protect trade there. I think we can make more just by protecting trade like crazy in Ceylon. And force more money from Bengal, from transferred traders, transfers upstream. If it were possible for us to put troops or put boats in Bengal, that'd be even better. But Ceylon's probably the way to do it. So we were making 57 with more boats. We'll make 57. So that's clearly not superior. All right, we're going to split, split. So 67 protect trade in Ceylon. 33 protect trade in Basra. 34 protect trade in Alexandria. No, not even that way. We'll have 17 protect trade in, in Alexandria and 17 protect trade in Zanzibar. So even though we'll have those penalties, I mean, I just think that by letting less money escape, 74%, maybe it would be better just to have all of them over here. Yeah, that barely made any difference there. 57, 57, 57 is the mark. Okay, an extra three ducats. Not a big deal. It'd be great if we could if we could conquer the Ottomans and make Constantinople our capital. 
our capital node. Then we could just feed everything into that node. It all merges in that way. Persia, Basra, like we wouldn't need these merchants at all. We'd be able to send them elsewhere. But oh well. We can almost get next tech, which is what I'm really excited about, the tactics advantage. And still at really high overextension. Portugal is improving relations with us. They are threatened. Hmm. Well, it's too bad that you are dis disconnected from us. Trust is negative. Don't worry, we'll get trust. We'll honor calls. So, who do we attack next? I mean, the, the relationship between Oirat and the Timurids will break automatically. They're at negative 63 prestige. Okay, it's just Orissa. That's who we attack. Gotcha. Okay. A little bit of... Every now and then I've just got to do some... Like logistics, like what? What am I supposed to be paying paying attention to again? What? Yeah, of course you would choose the one that I have no ability to core. It's a mission, and that would be nice. But I think Orissa makes more sense. How strong is Orissa? Thirty-seven thousand troops. We've got sixty that are going to be nearby. Should be sufficient. I think Humanist is working out pretty well. I'm pretty glad that I took it. We want to gain piety or lose piety? We'll keep the piety. That 10% conversion speed. It's working out okay. Supply limits here are pretty damn high, actually. So we can even go with like a 30 stack. And that's it, as far as what we can core. They are allied with Delhi. So we can finish them off. They rule over Kachar. Really, this is just a conquer the entire country type thing and then eat as much overextension as we can afford. We'll put the leader up here. Um, we'll wait for our other little reinforced army. Let's have you meet there. Poland will cede stuff to Bohemia. Doesn't really affect us. Okay, I mean, if you're going to come right next to this army, we might as well kill you with it. Malwa's a vassal. Malwa has cores. We want them to siege that. So we will take you to here, 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 and here. Hopefully we don't distract Malwa by walking through there. Oh, wait. Shouldn't we take Delhi? Yeah. Yes, we should. The answer is yes. No. No. Leave them alone. We will be there by the 5th. We can scare them off. Good. Leave my vassal alone. Come fight me. It's too bad we couldn't finish this tech before this, this war. Oh, well. It's not like we needed it. <laughs> 11 war score stack wipe. Boom. All right. How strong are you now, Orissa? They've really moved down the list. They have five regiments. Oh, you know what? That's right. They still have um, Kachar. Let's go take care of that first. Diplomatic insult, or Timurids like us better? Um, we don't need a justification for war against them. Although, what does the tip Diplomatic insult do? I forgot. 
claim our rival's province. Now that's that's more appropriate. I mean, could we break their relationship with like Coruscant that way? With diplomatic insult? I think it's monetary concessions. I'm going to go look it up. I'm going to take a break here. And in the next video, we'll, we'll know what to do. Because this could be useful, and I don't think we have a truce with them. So we could use that right now. Of course, if we declare war on the Timurants, we'll end up at war with the Oirat. Or wait, no. Nope, they've, they're no longer in the Union. Okay, good. That looks like I need to update my special interests. Alright, cool. I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next video.